EDH Deck Building. I am your host, Demo, and we got some new cards dropped on us. Don't panic. They're not brand new cards. This is all a reprint set. Dominaria Remastered. We got a lot of great reprints in this set, especially for the Commander format, which we're always looking for, of course. I actually really like reprint sets. They can honestly do reprints until the cows come home. I have no problem with that at all. There is no need to run out and buy these cards, right? Because there's nothing new happening here. However, the reprint there's two reasons I really like them. First of all, of course, if you have some expensive cards, reprinting them brings the price down, as we all know, and there are some great reprints in here for that reason. The other thing I really like about it, though, is often when they do these reprint sets, they have a lot of really fantastic alternate art. So you get a card that maybe you already have, maybe is already in one of your decks, is one of your favorites, and just happens to have a really cool alternate art. I'm a big art guy. I'm really particular about this kind of thing. I am much more likely to use a card if I really like the art on it. Maybe I'm a bit too nitpicky. I'm even picky about the set symbols that I use. But for me, art is a big part of why I love magic. And there's a lot of really great art from this reprint set. And I thought I would take the opportunity to talk about some other really cool alternate arts that there are out there that people might not know exist. Just bringing this to the awareness of my viewers. So of course, we have the secret layer drop series. Series, right? I've talked about a few of those cards on my channel before. I think most people know that secret layer drops exist. There is some fantastic alternate arts for these cards, like the Sword of Truth and Justice I got here, and most importantly, the Compost. That Compost is incredible. A card that I really like a lot. Pretty good in a Commander game. The alternate art here is just the best. I absolutely love it. I think most people know about the Secret Layer Drop series. It's good if you're into this kind of thing to check regularly to see see what cards are dropping. A little lesser known though is the Judged Gift Card series. This happens periodically throughout the year. There's no big announcements for it. You'll know them by this little set symbol here that I believe is supposed to be an owl, even though it kind of looks like a monkey. Of course, they're a little harder to come by. They can be a little more expensive. They're absolutely fantastic. Some of these arts like this stranglehold here looks amazing. This training grounds is just absolutely incredible. Training Grounds is, of course, a card that definitely needs to have more reprints. It's a very popular card in the Commander format. If you can get your hands on this one, this is one of the sweetest arts I think I've ever seen on a card. Way, way better than the original art. Or how about this Smothering Tithe? Again, a lot of people, of course, use Smothering Tithe in the format and might not know that this even exists. This is an alternate art for Smothering Tithe done for Judge Gift Cards 2022. It looks incredible. Of course, it's about double the price of a normal Smothering Tithe. But if you're a big art guy like me and you like Smothering Tithe, which a lot of people obviously do, you might want to go and see if you can get your hands on this copy. This Growing Rights of Itlamok, again, another popular card in the Commander format, and I absolutely love this art. It looks so cool. I mean, I don't currently have Growing Rights of Itlamok in any of my decks, but this is definitely one that I would try to get my hands on, even though it is very expensive, just because I absolutely love the art here. The back as well, right? Itlamok Cradle of the Sun. I guess they went with sort of a dinosaur theme here. How about this Perforos God of the Forge? Do you have a Perforos deck? If so, might want to run out and grab this one. Has the new legendary border on there, so that's a nice addition. Some alternate art. Seems like a pretty sweet option if you have a Perforos deck. We also have some really niche stuff that a lot of people might not be aware of. This Archmage's Charm is from Store Championship 2022. I don't even know what that is. It maybe is like a Game Nights thing. Archmage's Charm is a card that you see in the commander format and this alternate art is incredible it looks really really good i don't know how you would actually get your hands on this or how available they are i'm just bringing awareness to these cards right it's, it's up to you guys to go out there and try to find out where you can get your hands on them this one looks incredible though if you really like this card again store championship 2022 this is an omnath locus of creation full art card I, again look at this card is so wacky looking i saw a couple of guys talking about this card and some of them absolutely loved 
loved it and some of them absolutely hated it. So I don't know. What do you guys think? I'm sort of on the fence about this one. It is interesting for sure to have this full art Omnath like this. I like all the different colors there. I don't know. I'm not sure how I feel about this. If I had an Omnath Locus of Creation deck, would I want this card to be piloting that deck? I don't know. I really, really don't. I'm definitely okay with the original art. I also kind of like when the card actually says what it does on it so that you, you know, if you get into any rule situations, there's not a lot of confusion in a game. I'm a little torn on this one. Again, though, a lot of people probably don't even know this exists. If you have an Omnath Locus of Creation deck, you might really like this full art and you might want to go out and buy it to more personalize your deck, right? Another one they came out with that I'm sure a lot of people are not aware of is Year of the Ox 2021. I got a couple cards here from it. Sethron, Herloon General, and Tangarth first mate both commanders so if you have a commander deck with either of these these are great alternate options the tangarth first mate i particularly love they did do a few cards in this set year of the ox of course they're doing minotaurs and oxes here that's the theme of it there's only a few cards printed again i'm not sure exactly how you can get your hands on them but i'm showing these cards here so that you are aware they exist and you can go find them yourself if you want to certainly if i had a tangarth first mate deck i think i would definitely try to get my hands on this alternate art it looks amazing they also did a year of the tiger 2022 and here is a team or saber tooth again another popular card in the commander format a lot of people are using in their decks here's a really cool alternate art that you guys can run out and grab this one for your deck if you want to again of course it's quite a bit more expensive than the original but these are the kind of things that people love to do in the game of magic to more personalize their own decks as we all know and i'm sure there is a lot lot of people out there that had no idea they did a year of the tiger sort of secret layer drop right again there's only a few cards from this drop one of them being one of the worst cards ever printed jedit ojanan as i've said on my channel a few times this i think is the worst card ever printed the only reason why is because it is a seven mana multicolored legendary vanilla five five so for your seven mana, four, two, white, and a blue, you're only getting a vanilla five, five creature. So I can't think of any reason why you'd ever want to play this, except for if you have this alternate art version, again, from Year of the Tiger, and this really does look amazing. And unlike the Omnath, where it's like, okay, I have this full art version that doesn't have any text on the card. I don't know if I love that because then I can't read what the card actually does. Of course, Jedi Ojan doesn't actually do anything. It's just a vanilla creature. So so it actually works here, right? Having this full art version, really, really cool art, actually works on this card because of course, all you need to know about it is it costs seven mana and it's a five five because it doesn't do anything else. I guess you need to know that it's a legendary creature, but of course you probably know that already. Most other people would as well. I absolutely love this card and I guess I love the fact that because Jedid O'Janon is such a terrible vanilla creature, the fact that they turn it into a full art card just really makes sense here. And again, I'm just, such a massive art guy that if for whatever reason I actually got my hands on this card I would make a Jedid Ojanin deck just so I could use this card right that to me is the only reason why you would ever make a Jedid Ojanin deck is I got this super sweet full art alternate art card and I want to use it so I'm going to make a white blue deck that does I don't know what but have Jedid Ojanin as the commander for that deck I think they knocked it out of the park with this one because they took a card original card that looked really horrible and awful really bad art in my opinion on top of the fact that it's a terrible card and turned it into a really cool interesting card that people might actually want to use that's what i love about this stuff right that's what i love about these secret layer drops and all these alternate arts and all of this stuff is sometimes it can garner interest in a card that maybe you never really paid attention to before so if you were thinking of making a tangarth deck before now maybe you have a better reason to do so if you were thinking of giving compost to try because you thought it was a pretty good card now maybe you want to do that just so you can use this sweet alternate art right so i like to bring awareness to these things so that people know they exist that is all and i guess if you are actually thinking of purchasing any of these cards i do have a tcg player link maybe some of these cards are on there i don't know i'm sure a lot of them are hard to come by but if they got them on there i do have a link give it a click it helps support the channel but that is it for today and thanks for tuning in